often we are confused in, in shock that what happens in what see remember um, in distributive shock heart is absolutely fine okay if heart is absolutely fine so will it not try to do its work more uh, diligently when we are of in our healthy status then we try to do our work diligently so in distrib uh, in that in that also you are not able to remember you can remember that in distributive there is dil and dil works like normal heart so in distributive shock cardiac output increases but in others cardiac output will decrease you can just plainly write it as it is now what the second uh, point you have to remember is that this is the first point that will you have to remember that in distributive shock cardiac output increases second the thing that you are remember is cardiogenic and obstructive shock they are so similar pattern so what will happen see cardiogenic obstructive they are facing this similar problem so in both the cases uh, they are not able to pump the blood in the circulation so what will happen to this systemic vascular resistance systemic everything is relative now here because since heart is failing so for that the systemic vascular resistance is also feel to be more so this will increase and so the for the obstructive this will increase and this since the systemic vascular resistance is increasing so blood and blood is not pumped by the heart so what will what will be happening is that central venous pressure would increase because of blood is stagnating in the heart so what will happen in hypovolemic shock in hypovolemic shock you have to remember that now this was the second thing that will you have to remember that cardiogenic and obstructive will follow similar third points that you have to remember is that in hypovolemic shock you if you have read it in pharma in especially in uh, disoxin chapters uh, that when, uh, when the hype volume is reducing then what will happening systemic venous resistance would be increasing why systemic venous resistance would be increasing so that pump is pump, blood is pumped into the venous circulation and from there the body gets the whole of the supply so but the volume is ultimately decreasing so central venous pressure again would decrease but in distributive shock this is the third point that see always go for the pathology don't be fogged by the amount of information that is there now distributive shock what you can do is here is that cardiac output is increasing but systemic vascular resistance is decreasing think of uh, anaphylactic shock and what is happening in anaphylaxis is that there is uh, vasodilation so when there is vasodilation so blood is being stagnated in the vessels only and therefore there is systemic vascular resistance decreasing and now what will happen central venous pressure central venous pressure would increase just remember it as it is it is because it is difficult to uh, say you can go by the rule that fine uh, systemic vascular resistance is de decreasing so blood is more in the circulation and therefore the venous pressure is increasing but that would be far fetched it's better you remember this fifth point and in neurogenic shocks everything is negative so decreasing decreasing it is as simple as it is